Dear students, now we are going to see the mechanism of action of local anesthetics. Local anesthetics reversibly inhibit the nerve transmission by binding to voltage gated sodium channels. Where the channels are, they are present in nerve plasma membrane. So, what is the main mechanism of action? This local anesthetics will bind to the sodium channels that is present in the nerve plasma membrane. Because of binding, what happens? They inhibit the nerve transmission. How the inhibition would be? That is a reversible inhibition. So, before going into deep, first we have to know about the sodium channel. That is a ligand gated sodium channel. So, this sodium channel though, no, that is a complicated protein having multiple polypeptide sections. And these polypeptide sections are responsible for special functions of the channel. So, what is the sodium channel? That is a complicated protein having multiple polypeptide sections and that are responsible for special functions of the channel. This channel must be selective for sodium ions. So, we have known the name now. So, from the name itself, we can tell that it is selective for sodium ions. It must be able to detect and then open when the membrane is slightly depolarized. So, if there is any depolarization, the channel would be opened. It must be able to detect and then close when the membrane becomes hyperpolarized. Already we have said no. If there is any depolarization, the channel would be opened. If there is any hyperpolarization, that would be closed and it must convert to a resting state ready to depolarize again. So, after resting state, there may be depolarization. So, when the channel will be open, if there is any depolarization, that would be opened. If there is any hyperpolarization, that would be closed and it is selective only for sodium ions. The mammalian brain sodium channel no, that is having two subunits. One is an alpha subunit, another one is a beta subunit. So, it is having only one alpha subunit and one or more beta subunits. So, look at this picture. So, this is the sodium channel. It is having one alpha subunit and two beta subunits. That is one or more beta subunits. So, one alpha subunit that is alpha one or more beta subunits know that may be beta 1 and beta 2. So, it is having two subunits. One is alpha, one alpha and one or more beta subunits. Now, this alpha subunit know that has four domains that can be called as 1 to 4. So, look at this one. This is alpha no. So, up to this, this would be alpha subunit. It is having four domains. So, this is one domain. This is one and this is one. This is one. So, one. 2, 3, 4. So, 4 domains are there in alpha subunit. Alpha subunit is composed of 4 domains that is 1 to 4. That fold to make the pore that sodium ions pass through. So, here we have that 4 domains now. Uh, these 4 domains are fold to make a pore. In that pore only the sodium ions would be entering. Each of the four domains is composed of six transmembrane alpha helical segments that can be represented as S1 to S6. So, here we have that four domains. Know that four domains are having six transmembrane alpha helical segments that is 1 to 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, they can be represented as S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. So, all are having, the four are having six transmembrane alpha helical segments. So, all are having S1 to S6. So, look at this picture. Picture It is having six transmembrane alpha helical segments. Similarly, all are having that, that four are having six transmembrane alpha helical segments. This beta subunits know they are involved in the kinetics and voltage dependence of the sodium channel opening and closing. So, what is the role of this beta subunits? So, here we have two beta subunits know what is the role of that? They are involved in the kinetics and voltage dependence of the sodium channel opening and closing. 
uh, they have large extracellular domains with many sites for glycosylation so they have many sites for glycosylation and uh, only one transmembrane segment whereas uh, look at this uh, alpha subunits they are having six transmembrane segments that is S1 to S6 but look at this beta it is having only one transmembrane segment so beta 2 is having one segment beta 1 is having one segment what about this alpha they are having six transmembrane alpha helical segments the sodium channel has specific amino acids that act as a selectivity filter only allowing sodium ions to pass through the channel so it has specific amino acids that amino acids are acting as selectivity filter so what is the use of this selectivity filter that can allow only the sodium ions to enter the channel so what um, what is selectivity filter that is made up of amino acids that is allowing only sodium ions to enter the channel so the amino acids that make up to the selectivity filter of ion channel can be called as a P region. So that amino acids can be called as a P region. So what is the role of that amino acids? That amino acids will act as a selectivity filter and that is allowing only sodium ions to pass through the channel. So that amino acids will make up the selectivity filter. No, that amino acids can be called as a P region. So, um, sodium channel no, that is having specific P region that is specific for sodium ion. Similarly, potassium channel or calcium channel no, they are having their own P region. So, that gives selectivity for the respective ions. So, this is giving the P region of potassium no, potassium channel that is uh, selective for potassium ions. Similarly, for uh, P region of calcium channel that is selective for calcium ions. So, the selectivity filter of the sodium channel is composed of two rings. So, that is having two rings made up of amino acids from the four homologous domains. So, we have seen that four domains know this one to four. So, from that, from the four homologous domains, it is having two, it is made up of two rings that is made up of amino acids. The fire string is composed entirely of negatively charged amino acids. Approximately 2 to 3 amino acids deeper into the pore, the second ring is formed. The second ring of the P region is composed of amino acid sequence DEK. You see this one. So, this would be the symbol for amino acids. So, what is the first letter? D. So, first one is D. So, what is D? D is for aspartic acid. So, D means aspartic acid. And what is E? E is GLU that is glutamic acid. GLU means glutamic acid. So, E is glutamic acid. Then K. So, what is K? K is lysin. K is lysin. And the last one is A. A means A is alanin. So, and the second ring of P region of uh, this channel, sodium channel no. That amino acid sequence is DEKA that is aspartic acid, glutamic acid, lysin and alanin. So, this would be the P region for sodium channel. Similarly, calcium channel is having the P region 4E. E four times. What is meant by E? Where is E? E means glutamic acid. So, it is having 4 glutamic acid residues. The P region of calcium channel is 4 glutamic acid residues. Whereas the uh, P region of sodium channel is DEKA that is aspartic acid, glutamic acid, lysin and alanin. That is by selectively mutating the 4 amino acids from DEKA to 4E selectively for calcium could be conferred to the channel. That is if you are mutating this one to this what happens? Calcium ions can enter the sodium channel. So, the sodium channel is able to change the conformations in response to small changes in the membrane potential. The voltage sensing units of the sodium channels are the S4 segments of the alpha subunit. Already we have seen alpha subunit is having 4 domains that is 1 to 4 in that all having 6 transmembrane alpha helical segments that is S1 to S6. In that 6 here we have S4 no so this 4. That 4 is the voltage sensing unit. 
So the S4 has positively charged amino acid at every third residue. So look at this. That's why they have written plus sign here. So in the fourth segment. Here also plus. So in four here also plus. Here also plus. So the voltage sensing units of the sodium channels are the S4 segments or the alpha subunit. And this S4 has positively charged amino acid at every third residue. The S4 segment move in response to the change in local anesthetic membrane potential and cause a further conformational change that opens the gate of the sodium channel thus allowing sodium to enter in. This S4 voltage sensor, sensors are responsible for the conformational changes in the receptor that is the point we have seen already conformational changes in the receptor that close the channel to sodium conductance so down the pore of the sodium channel beyond the selectivity filter lays the putative local anesthetic binding site so where the local anesthetic binding site is that is beyond the selectivity filter that is down the pore of the sodium channel beyond the selectivity filter we have the local anesthetic binding site. The positively charged nitrogen of the local anesthetic molecule may form a cation pi electron interaction with the phenyl alanine residue from the D4S6 domain. So here we have four domains no in that four domains the fourth one no the fourth one is having six segments so in that S6 no so the S6 is having sorry uh, this S6 no that is having phenyl alanine residue. So here we have four domains. Alpha is having alpha subunit is having four domains. In that fourth domain, all the domains are having six transmembrane alpha helical segments. In the fourth one, it is having um one to six segments no that is S1 to S6. So the last one S6 no that is having phenyl alanine residue. That phenyl alanine residue makes cation pi electron interaction with the local anesthetic molecule. So the aromatic ring of local anesthetic may also interact with the tyrosine amino acid in the D4S6 domain. Already we have seen uh, this fourth one is having S6 that is having phenylalanine residue that is making a cation pi electron interaction with the positively charged nitrogen of local anesthetic but uh, not only phenyl sorry uh, not only phenyl alanine but also it is having this one no this s6 of fourth one that is having tyrosine uh, this tyrosine no that can interact with the aromatic ring of local anesthetic so the putative local anesthetic binding site is involved in the s6 subunits of alpha d1 D3 and D4 domains. So, which one is involved in the binding? So, here we have alpha in that D1, D3, D4. In that three S6 segments. So, the S6 of D1, S6 of D3 and S6 of D4. So, these are the binding interaction, binding sites of this sodium channel. So, what are they? The putative local anesthetic binding site is involved in S6 subunits of alpha, D1, D3 and D4 domains. The exact amino acid involved depends on the source and the state of the sodium channel being studied. The positively charged nitrogen of the local anesthetic may lie in the center of the pore to create an electrostatic repulsive force that in addition to the steric block would prevent the sodium ion passage through that's all about the sodium channel so next class we'll see the mechanism of action of this local anesthetics